Hey everybody, hope you're having a really good weekend. It's finally here, I get to share with you guys my experience with the Dr. Pathfinder 2 and give you my review like I did with the Pathfinder 1. And if you're curious, they're still gonna be selling the Pathfinder 1, you can still get that. And you can still use the Pathfinder 1 app, but when you get the Pathfinder 2, they also have a new app that goes with the Pathfinder 2. I've been using this new tracking system for a few months now and I really like it and they've upgraded it. And I'll share with you some of the new features. And remember, if you decide to buy anything from Dogtra, any tracking system or any training system, you can use my code STARK5 to get a discount and save some money. So to start off with, I'll describe to you what all the Pathfinder 2 can do. And in case there's new people here that don't have a Dogtra system and they're just getting into it and they might be curious about it, I'll go over some of the features that the Pathfinder 2 has that are also on the Pathfinder 1. And then at the end of this review, I'll go over what exactly is new with the Pathfinder 2 because they do have quite a few new updates to it. So to start off, just to describe what you're getting when you buy one of these Pathfinder 2s, it comes with the tracking and training system collar and then the new yellow GPS unit that connects to the collar that connects you to the app on the phone. And if you're curious more about how this system works with your phone and how to set it up, you should go check out my Dogtra Pathfinder 1 review because the process of setting up the Pathfinder 2 is the exact same. The only difference is the new features that the system itself has. But as far as setting it up and ease of use, it's the exact same thing. And the link for that video is below. And in that video, it'll show you all the basic features that the Dogtra Pathfinder system has, like the 9 mile range or the ability to track 21 dogs at a time the mobile fence and geo fence options, just to name a few. But I'm sure most of you are interested in what makes this system different and the new upgrades and features it has. So I'll just briefly describe some of the new features it has. It has the new yellow GPS connector. On the GPS connector, it actually has a function button. That way, if you want to keep your phone in your pocket and you want more of a handheld unit, you can use the function button on your GPS connector to tone, vibrate, or stimulate your dog. And yes, I said vibrate, that's another new function that this system has. Instead of just toning or stimulating your dog, you have now another ability to actually vibrate the collar. This really increases the ability of a dog trainer to work with the dog. But to put it more in terms of my audience with coon hunters and squirrel hunters, most people use the tone function to get the dog to come to them. But if you'd like to warn your dog before you stimulate it, if it's doing something wrong or trying to get it to quit doing something, but now with this feature, you can teach it to come back to you when you tone it, and then you can also use the vibrate as a warning that it's about to get stimulated. So it's just another tool to add in the handler's arsenal. Another new feature this system has, it has the two really bright green blinking LED lights on the front that lets you see the dog wherever it's at. What it kind of reminds me of is back in the day when you used to have bells on your dog's collar before tracking systems, you can kind of hear where the dogs are at. Now if you see the dog running through the woods or running out through a field and they're not barking, you can still see that light blinking and know where they're at. It's pretty neat. Go along with lights, it also has a new locate light function, which is a really bright white light on the front of it. That way if your dog is in a dangerous situation at night or gets close to a road, you can push a button on the app and it turns a really bright light on. That way it can alert drivers that there's a dog in the road and it could save your dog's life. It also has a new e-fence feature, which allows you to go on the map and drop pins on your map and mark out an area that you want your dog to stay in. The dog will get close to the boundary, the dog will get a vibrate notification, and then if it ended up crossing the boundary you made, it would actually get stimulated, keeping it inside like an electric fence. That's a new upgraded feature because in the Pathfinder 1, they had the mobile fence or the geo fence where you could drop points on the map and it would alert you on your phone that the dog has left the area but it wouldn't do anything to the dog. Now if the dog tries to leave the area you mapped out, it'll get vibrated to notify it's getting close to the boundary, and then if it does cross, it'll get corrected to keep it inside. And if you want more details on any of this stuff or have any questions about this, just ask in the comments below and reach out to me and I'll explain it to you. And remember, if you're gonna buy any tracking or training systems from Dogtra, if you use my code START5, you can get a discount to save some money. And now we'll go to the woods and show you guys how it's actually used.
Eu tô hoje. Tô te rabando. Sounds like he's treed. We're going there and see what he has. Oh, oh. 